right, guys, hi. For the uh, fourth or fifth time today, we are finally going to be doing some work on my project. Manda is on her way. She's driving here like a bat out of hell as we speak, so she will be joining us, but I didn't want to leave you guys waiting any longer. So here's my pint. Cheers. It's a very, very hot day. I've got the noise that you can hear is a fan going here and a fan going here. I've also got a noodle and I need to warn you, this is obviously my shop. We are open so public comes in, there will be chatting and the dog has a tendency to bark at people that he doesn't know so we're going to have to put up with that as well. So bear with me, bear with young noodle and the noise and the commotion when Amanda joins us but hopefully we're going to crack on and get some decent painting. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what I've done so far. You can see this is all a bit gary at the moment. I have used um, Animal Dukes chalk paints, a kind of burnt orange colour and a blue. And I have put it all on using my trusty putty knife. <laughs> and I tended to do it in that direction and that direction. But I also mixed up some imp impasto, which is a powder and you just tip the paint, decant the paint into a tub, mix the powder up and it makes it really thick and pasty. And then I have used that to slap it on. And it's created lots of drips and marks and grooves and it really looks like I am the worst painter ever. In fact, when Manda popped around yesterday to check in, she said she thought I needed a painting lesson or two. So, but it's all part of a master plan that will come to uh, fruition once I get started. Now I have actually done the top and the sides, the next stage, but you can't really see it. So I'm going to show you how I go about that. So for the next stage, I'm not going to use the putty uh, anymore. I'm going to just use a brush, a small brush. And I've now got this gorgeous, I don't know if you can see that, see daisy chain color it's really quite sunshiny bright and I've got an antique white to go with it see antique white so I'm not going to do anything with these in changing the consistency and I'm not very good at this uh, anti-contamination thing I because I've already assigned this project to be these colors I kind of dip the brush into both and I can hear some of my painter friends gasping in horror but it's just the way I work and it's okay and if occasionally I get a little yellow streak in the next project well it like makes me smile. So I am randomly but once again this up and down and right to front technique it's I don't know if it really makes a massive difference it does make a difference to the bit underneath but this bit, it just makes it, my OCD feel, feel okay, that it's consistently going up and down in the right direction. So, obviously a palette brush would be really tricky to get into all these little bits and pieces here, so a brush is good for this. I'm mixing the colours up. There. Starting to get a bit of a pattern, don't know if you can see that. How many people have I got? Oh, hi Julie, hi Debbie, nice to see you. Really good finally to join in after this morning's shenanigans with the uh, internet. I'm going to have to do some research on that. It's like my finger or my thumb wasn't working today. What I really love about these kind of projects is I haven't got a clue how it's going to finish. I, haven't, I didn't really have a plan, I just picked some colours off the counter. Um, but I like working with palettes, I, like, I don't really like plain items, I just like it to, I don't know, be all about colour, but I guess you kind of get that from my logo, is that colour is my thing. Um, Saying that, this piece is actually going to be quite subtle when it's finished, and I know that because of the top, but you don't, but you're just going to have to trust me. 
I am lucky that I managed to organise today's paint the pint with Amanda, who only actually lives five minutes around the corner, so she's able to pack up. But we started this venture feeling all relaxed and chilled and organised, and now it's all turned into a hair raising. Oh God, I've got to drive 100 miles an hour. But uh, hopefully she'll get here in one piece. I think she's approaching. I've got my lovely friend Liz manning the shop for me to uh, deal with customers and uh, rain noodling when he goes off on one, which is going to be shortly when Amanda walks through the door, no doubt. So. so every now and again with this, I use a spritzer. It's like a misting thing. Uh, it's just got water in it, but it just loosens the paint up a bit. Gives it a nice runny drippy feel, which I quite like. My plan is to cover the whole of this in this way. And then the reveal time will come. Where we sand back and the lumps and the bumps that I've created using the impasto and these bright colours underneath will start showing through in a really beautiful way. but I'm here now. <laughs> this is the lovely Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. Um, and I brought Peg to you very much. Yes. Oh. What a disaster. <laughs> Good yes. job it wasn't live from Scotland. <laughs> I know. And just as well I wasn't working on the piece I was going yes. to work on. That would not have fitted in That would not have fitted in the car. Um, but hey, Kate, never So, what have you got going? I've talked all about what I'm doing, so it's completely over to you. Oh, my goodness. Right. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> um, I am working on... You can see a bit of it. That's fine. Um, this was a piece that I had previously done. Oh, thank you. Um, and it was a lovely colour, beautiful colour, nice finish, but I was bored with that. And because I couldn't work on the piece I had originally intended to work on, um, this is my substitute. So what I'm hoping to do is um, an ombre effect, starting with, um, I've decapted some colours, starting with a dark blue and coming up to um, a very, very pale blue, almost white. So how have you mixed those up then? Have you just added white to the original? No, I haven't mixed anything with those yet. I have got my white. So they're all pure they're colours? They're all pure right. colours from several different makes, because I never stick to one. Um, so they're all from different makes, all different tones of blue. There's nothing terribly pale in there, so I will have to mix with whites as I go along. Um, so blending up the ombre. That's why I put this white here, because I wanted a, a lighter base, because we're going to come up um, light. Now, my plan. I was going to do something a little bit freaky on the top. Um, I've never tried it before, so it could go horribly wrong. Oh. Um, and sounds, it's going to be very good. messy. <laughs> so, um, I've cleaned the floor. <laughs> I'm more worried about your piece. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, I don't know. Put it down here and do that. We, yeah, we might have to, actually, because yeah, yeah, um, yeah. it's going to go everywhere. And noodle get your noodle. Amanda, out. have you bought your pint? My pint? Your pint. My pint? No, I didn't. It's still sitting in the kitchen. <laughs> but the lovely Liz is going to find me a pint or something. <laughs> We're going to need to make seriously alcoholic to get past today, I think. Oh, well, that will have to wait till later because I've got to drive back, obviously. 
Um, yeah, we could have a lock in. We could have a <laughs> lock in, yeah. Come on down, you're all invited. Um, I'm going to take my shoes off, excuse me. It's just as well it's not smelly vision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am in the room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was all set up, ready to go, at this um, kind of two and a half meter by two and a half meter squared area to work in and 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 talk to you in, um, and it was all very cramped and everything. But I positioned it beautifully, yeah, so you couldn't yeah. really see me. You could <laughs> see the piece. <laughs> now you fell on. Not a pipe, but I've only bought one pipe glass. No, that's apple juice. That's apple juice. <laughs> I just thought I'd be missing. Oh, <laughs> we've Thank been you. offered this if it gets bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right, time to pull myself together and get on with some work. Um, let me find the bit. Thank you for being so patient. This is all very impromptu now. But, um, I was just telling them that I, this morning I've done the top, which they can't see, but it turned out really exciting. Oh, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah. What did you do to I, that? It's because I put impasto in the original colour, so the, which is why you said to me, I think you need a lesson in painting. Because <laughs> <laughs> it looks all a mess. But actually, <laughs> but actually, it's, it's, it's looking... really worked. Wait till you see this. It's looking amazing. Have you put any texture paste or anything in that? That's in the, that's the impasto. Yeah, in, in, in the red and the... Impasto? Yeah, it's this. It's just a powdered texture that you put in with the paint and it thickens oh, it up. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, that's um, actually very handy to know. Because um, yeah. I do a lot of textural things and trying to get the texture can sometimes be a bit... Hard. Harsh. Yeah, well, you, <laughs> with that stuff you can make it as thick or as thin as you want. You can judge it yourself. Right. Um, yeah, they're stupid. Well, it could be stupid, could be amazing, I don't know. Um, so I need to be... I've, I've, what I've done is I've watered down some of these paints because I want them to be runny. Um, and I think it doesn't really matter what order I put them in. I'm just going to lay a bits of paint into a measuring cup. Say hi. Hi. It's so lovely having you all join us. It's really nice. Who's we got in there? We've got uh, we've got Jill. Hi Jill. Hi Jill. And we got Julie. Hello. Let's see who else we've got. Oh, something's gone. Hang we on. had somebody from we've got New people. Jersey. Oh, oh really? Yeah. yeah. My camera's bouncing around now. Which was, um, I can't get the... Uh, a huge surprise. We've got quite a few, but the names haven't come up. I will have a look later to see who's tuned in. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, we will definitely... I will, we I will, will get back to you on any comments or questions that you might have. So I'm just layering up these paints, not stirring them in. I want them to separate. Oh. I'm putting a little bit of white between them. We could do a bit of a, a dirty pour. It, it, it is a dirty it's pour. A dirty it's pour. a dirty pour. Um, You're not going to just tip it down the front, are you? <laughs> Let it run. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> not quite. Not quite. Right. This little gadget I have here, and this is not my own idea. Um, I saw this online and I thought, wow, um, I've got to have a go at that. So I've not had any chance to practice. Um, it's just a, 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 a sink strainer, okay. And I've hooked a little piece of wire on the top because I need to be able to hold it. So I've layered up my paints, it's all here. It's gonna go through the strainer. I'm gonna pop the strainer on the top. Oh, should we put it down? So oh yeah, we're, yeah, we're gonna put that. it down. Let's do that. Um, firstly, so we can see it. Secondly, because we can clean the floor. <laughs> I like the way a wee going on. The wee, yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to tip the camera down so you can actually see. And I thought I'll do this because oh, nice. I, I wondered should I do it first? Should I do it at the end? But if I do it first and it drips down the side, <laughs> I can incorporate that in my blending. So, it was it's good, 
So, fingers crossed, noodle, <laughs> stay. <laughs> oh, I'm shaking because I'm nervous. Right, let's see how this goes. Now, this should start running through. I wonder if it needs water. Um, yeah, it's obviously not liquid enough, is it? There's a spray. Let's try that. I can see it's seeping through. Yeah, maybe the holes aren't big enough. I, don't know. I think it should have been much more watered down than I actually. There we go. There we go. There oh we my go. God, that's just water <laughs> coming through. <laughs> you do an excited dance. <laughs> but if you lift it up, will it? Well, that's kind of the effect I wanted, but on a much grander scale. I'm going to add water to yeah. this. Yeah. See, this is the day in the life of uh, me, really. This constant playing, things going wrong, things turning out right. And then in the end, they just turn out amazing and we all get really excited and jump around. And that's what we love about our jobs. Yeah. Mm. What if you got a hairdryer? Do you know what? I'm going to work on that. I think the, the initial should have been thinner. It should have been it's much thinner. It should have been much more watery. Right, so while we sort that out and you get a new bit, let's carry back on. Do you want some cloth? I can get you need some well, shop bath. Right. Do you want a shop bath? I had a big roll of it. No. Shop <laughs> Is that what you call it? Shop cloth. Shop cloth. <laughs> That's blue roll to you, me. Yeah. Right, does that... Right, I'll clear up this mess. Paula will talk you through what she's doing <laughs> and what she's been doing... Generally, what have you been up to? What have I been up to? Well, most of you would have seen my uh, my pimped up van. That's oh, been a, a very exciting part this week. And I say exciting in a very loose way because part of it involved sticking it on with my husband, whose least quality, I would say, was patience. <laughs> <laughs> We were only about three letters in when it first all went wrong. <laughs> and, and he's not very good at laughing it off and oh, he's, he's a sweetie. He is a sweetie, but he's, he's he's, it's not his forte. But in the end, he has done a fantastic job. And I'm really pleased with it. I mean it does. It looks amazing, Paula, and I have <laughs> serious man envy. Yes. Yeah. And I have people staring at me a lot when I'm driving now, I've noticed. Well, we won't miss you. No. But it means one. that I'm going to have to stop the affair that I was having. <laughs> 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 or at least not when I'm parking outside in the van. Yeah. No. Mark, I hope, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> She's joking. <laughs> um, yeah, and you'll have to remember to stop at red lights and, and all that, won't you? Yeah. Goody tie some goody tissues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it does. It looks absolutely stunning. Um, so that's been quite an exciting bit of the week. Yeah, of course, the rest of the week. My daughter's gone to France. Has she? What's she, she gone there for? She's gone on a school trip. Oh, lovely. Uh, Which part of France has she gone to? Uh, somewhere up the north. <laughs> she, she, uh, I don't know. I'm not very. Uh, she's going to Mount Michael, is it? So, yes. Mount, uh, she's Mount, going there. Yes, so. so my calls the house is very empty without her. Oh, Georgia's a love. Georgia gets her artiness from you, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah, she's... Arty family. She doesn't get the attitude. <laughs> <laughs> you see, when something goes wrong, all you do is mop it up, look, look at that, and paint over it. <laughs> easy, that easy. is the joy of chalk paint. Yeah, honestly. There's nothing you can't correct, and that's you know you get a chance to play around. And if it isn't great, you start again. Now, even though this piece was a lovely pine piece and it was given to me, it had a lot of stains on it that was gonna bleed. What did you do? I haven't done anything because I've chosen to use dark colours to start with. It's covered it. All oh, right. So that is always an option when you've got a clearly. Um, well, yeah, I know, I've found that, you know, with um, a lot of these old pieces, and it's it's not just pine at all, and pine is a it <laughs> is. bit of a bad culprit. People expect pine to be the better, and mahogany to be worse, yeah, but it isn't. Yeah, it's not the truth. 
Sometimes I find I have to get a primer on, but um, it just depends on the piece, and as you say, the colours you're using, isn't it? Well, and sometimes, depending on how bad the bleeding is, I will adapt what I'm doing to the piece, because I might have initially wanted it to be plain, but then the bleeding is so bad that I decide a technique is in order. <laughs> yes. Yes, <laughs> some stenciling while we're making techniques to hide a multitude. Yeah, isn't that, that was uh, all part of the plan. <laughs> <laughs> it's all part of the bleeding, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Excellent. I leave that as it is. Um, I'm going to get back up with some mixing, mixing some more paints because they need Round to be more two. watery. Yeah, maybe we could just squirt a bit of water in to in in between each jug section. Uh, the water's tending to sit on the top, though. I noticed that when I added it. If okay. So I think I'll, I think I'll, I'll mix it up to a watery consistency. Yeah. And we'll, we'll see how we go. Right. Lovely, lovely. Um, I have got more of my paints. This isn't all I've got. So we. sorts thrown at it because this is really only the first stage like the background it's, um, I'm going to be using um, the crackle stamp the new crackle stamp that's coming out um, with IOD any day I got an email yesterday and they said um, they should be arriving in France any day now oh, and brilliant. then they'll be coming straight to us I can't wait but I managed to get my hands on a crackle stamp um, before so I've got just one um, so oh. I have been using it. So jealous. And um, yeah, I'm going to do some gold leaf crackling on this, which is really cool. It's, it's going to bring out the sunshine. Lovely the colours. I just wanted a sunshine piece. But I thought I might actually hand paint some flowers on it as well. I was thinking maybe poppies to go with the kind of burnt orange that I've got going on. That would be lovely, actually. Yeah, that's what that I thought. That would really sing, wouldn't so it? I'm probably not going to get to all of that today um, and what I'll do is I'll just pause the piece when we finish today and carry on next week so that you'll be able to see sort of the piece through because I want you to love it. Okay, so have we got any stirrers anywhere? Whether it's an old pencil, I, I did mean to bring mine with me. Oh no, I have bought, I have <laughs> bought some with me. Ah, perhaps a knife over there. Yeah. They're all covered in sharp cloth. Is there a knife in that? Uh, or just any of those brushes? That yeah, I'll just find the ends, but I mean, you know, it's just going to wash off. So. Yeah. How's that looking? Yeah, looking alright? Yeah, it looks good. Oh, it's looking great. Do you know, it's so hot today, I couldn't even put my hat on. Oh. <laughs> I am the messiest painter. Um, I really am, even just prepping, I've got it all over me. Um, so the reason that I wear hats is to keep the paint out my hair and my hair out the paint. Dual purpose. So um, I'll probably end up with it all down me. Oh, Messy painter. Paint I know, I know, I'm, 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 I am the messiest. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, see. I wear dungarees for it, they're comfortable and they've often got smidgens of paint on, but this is nothing on what Manda <laughs> turns up in the shop in. My God, she's got this shirt that <laughs> well, there probably isn't a spot on it that hasn't got a blob of paint, am I right? Yeah, uh, yeah no, absolutely covered. Um, uh, but I thought I'd wear something clean today. She dressed up. I dressed you guys. up for you. And, um, <laughs> it's a false. It's false, you know. Yeah. It's, it's not real. You wait. As the weeks go by, you'll see the real me. She'll, she'll make less and less effort. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is mixing in quite nicely. Uh, I 
is they want it all to run into each other. I think when I saw it, she was using acrylic paints. That would make. I have seen it too, but I can't remember. But water should. Yeah, that should work. That should work. That should work. Oh, we'll give it a go. Where did you get your, your tea strainer thing from? Sink. Um. Off of your hardware store. But, no, no, uh, no. <laughs> no, that's another story. No, I popped into Wimborne today to uh, v &A Discount, brilliant shop, Mill Lane, um, and my lovely friend Viv, Blossom, hi, if you're watching, um, I picked it up from her with some other essentials. Um, but yes, the hardware shop. <laughs> You know these fabulous old... Um, yeah, they're the best. They're, they're brilliant, but you know, they, they're gone from every city and every town these days, these little old-fashioned cardboard shops. Well, there's a lovely one in Christchurch, to any one of you which is local. Um, Christchurch in Dorset. Um, and the guys in there, they're, they're absolutely super. Um, they know exactly what you need and they will come up with it. And instead of going to b and to buy a hundred screws in a pack when you only want three you can go in there and buy three so i've got to know these chaps very well indeed and they'd be really um, good to you wouldn't they they, they set out your super. your screen for your backdrop and everything yep there. yep um roger helped me <laughs> with, a, with a with a plan roger's like your dad you know you go to him for advice and he says i'll come up with something and he always does always does brilliant guy he also um and you might like to know this as well because um, old furniture, when we get it, invariably there's no keys. The keys have gone missing years ago. Right, and that's fine. But when you go on to sell a piece, they want the key. Well, obviously, they want the key. Yeah, um, I would. So uh, Roger is super. You can get them made, does he? He so. actually, he, if you take your lock to him, he will make you the key. And how much? Oh, fiver. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Um, and ah. apart from you know calling out a locksmith at an extortionate price, yeah, yeah. that's the best way to do it. And how long does that take? Uh, normally he does it for me on the spot and we have a bit of a natter. Um, but you know, if you push for time, leave it with him, right, that's pop it. in the next day and it's sorted. Uh, fabulous. Really, really fabulous. Um, and invaluable to, to us. To us. So Roger, if you're watching later on catch up, <laughs> thank and, you. And you have 20 people arriving on your doorstep tomorrow morning. <laughs> it's not just <laughs> fault. <laughs> I swear he, he hides when he sees me coming. <laughs> joining us. Hi Jenna. Hello. We've still got lots of people viewing. That's cool. We are going to be um, posting this again tonight in my paint forum because that way we'll be able to type answers back to you. Obviously we won't be able to talk to you but we will both be online tonight at seven o'clock in the paint forum and, and we'll rerun this for you so if you've got questions that we haven't seen then um, we'll answer them then. It's called the Watch Party. It's a really good. Uh, I've never heard of it before. Yeah, you said. I, and I found it and pressed it, and we had a little go the other night, and it was just so cool because it felt like we were all sharing the experience together. So, I think that's going to be a really good thing once a week. So, be there tonight if you want to join in, even just for five ten minutes. That would be really cool. Because not everyone can get to us through the day. And, you know, we appreciate that. But um, instead of watching Coronation Street or what have you, oh yeah, you can chat with us. I don't know if we can provide that much drama though. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Seven o'clock's a long way off. There's a lot of drama that could happen between now and then. Um, <laughs> so I bet lots of you got kids on school holidays now. In the next six weeks. Uh, do you remember, like, at the beginning of the summer holiday, it feels like forever, and you're like, I don't know what we're going to do, a whole change of routine, a whole change of, like, just, oh no, the days seem really long, and then you 
you get to about week three and you think, where did that, yes. where did that go? And then suddenly they're back at school again. Yeah. Suddenly you're going out for your school yeah. uniform. And oh, the dreaded school uniform. <laughs> <laughs> don't have that anymore, thankfully. Well, mine's all right. Paying, because my daughter goes to grammar school, but the, the uniform shop is right in the Paul Town Centre and it's the only place you can get uniform for her school. And it has to be that that yes. uniform, that brand. You can't even get a different a grey skirt. It's a specific shade of grey. Very important. Yeah. And a peer uniform is so um, specialised you can't even buy second hand peer uniform because it has to have their name embroidered. I had all that with Sam when he was at the, the grammar. Yeah. What are the chances of another child being called Georgia, spelt with a J? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of not going to happen, is it? That's your fault, you named her. <laughs> so the solution was to buy her <laughs> much to her disgust. Oh, what a done? massive one. <laughs> she said, it will last. <laughs> You're fitting for it. She's going constantly pulling it up and down, saying, Mom, can you just sew it or something? It's falling down. The sound of my sound was, um, <laughs> he'll hate me for this, please, no more repeat it. Um, he, he was quite diddy when he got to um, the grammar school. And even the smallest size blazer and trousers that they had, um, everything in fact, was, um, you'll grow into it, love. <laughs> so, <laughs> Grandma, who's very handy with a needle, um, was set the task of, of taking up trouser legs and blazer sleeves and, and what have you. Oh, bless him. Yeah, bless him his. <laughs> the same set. You just gradually <laughs> take it down and it's Just take it down and it's each year. <laughs> so, did he have like huge bulky bits <laughs> yes. at the bottom of his feet? Yeah, quite the, the trousers we did need to replace because of course the knees go, don't they? <laughs> um, but the blazer, I swear, we must have had the same blazer all the time at school. I don't remember buying another one. <laughs> Yeah, so it started off sort of down here, and when he, by the time he left, it was kind of <laughs> bracelet level, I think you call it. Um, trend setting. Trend setting. Yeah, standing out from the crowd, teaching your child to be different, and love it, love it anyway. Love it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> if you can tackle that, and still you can, you can handle that. Can't you? Oh yeah, it's a bit like me at parents' evening at the grammar school, to be honest. I turn up in all my hippie gear, and everyone looks at me in horror in their three-piece suits. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they do. And I said to my daughter, I'm, I'm sorry, darling, I'm standing out a bit. And she just says, no, mummy, I love it. Oh. So flat her up. Oh, good for her. Yeah. Good for her. She's gone off to, on her trip with all her hippie clothes. She likes her hippie clothes, too. Oh, she's a good kid. <laughs> right. Right, are you going to actually get some paint on this? I might. Come on. Let's sort it out. I'm going to finish my piece. You see, I don't think this is just going to mix in together. <laughs> and I can go, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. It's, it's kind of reminding me of, you know, when you're little and you're playing mud pies and um, or making perfume out of, out of, out um, of flower petals. Flower, so it doesn't flower smell petals. at all. Mm. Yeah. Um, don't hold your breath. Right, I'm just going to try this again. Just pop that down in a minute. Put on your bungee. Okay, you kids. I'm not sure. I just think it's going to come out like a big mess. Look, it's not separated. Do they lift it up? No, she just let it run through. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. we have exciting. We have exciting. Can you see that, guys? 
Not exactly what I'd imagined, but... I think that's the silicon. That's very nice. I think if it had had sort of really different colours rather than shades of blue... Well, I'm just going to take the camera off the stand just so that you can close up and see what that looks like because that looks really cool. It's... There we go. It's more the effect, however, yeah, that's looking good. Yeah, I probably needed more paint actually. Um, what if we tip the, I might do, if we start tipping it a bit. We could, we could. Right, we're back in situ now. Like to me, to you, yeah, and then just do a bit of rolling. Don't, don't worry about the floor, she says. No, really worry about the floor. <laughs> I think I might just uh, uh, mix some more. Liz, Amanda's making a mess off the floor. <laughs> yeah, this isn't really going how I want. I wanted what about the, a hairdryer? I wanted the circular motion to stay. I think you should go with a hairdryer. Do you think? Yeah. There's okay. a hairdryer. Hang on. What, to sort of fan it out? Yeah. <sighs> oh. That's where it all goes wrong. Okay. I'm not responsible. <laughs> okay, She's I'll trying to make me I'll do it. Do it on. intended all along and that was the plan we, we knew it was going to work like that we were just like messing with you <laughs> and do you know what i'm not worried at all about those bits that aren't covered because i might just leave it away I, I might come in later with with some yeah, more white it's really and some nice. different colors but it looks natural it and organic it's a good word <laughs> oh fab oh thank you I wouldn't have thought of doing that. Oh, I actually would pan. not have thought of doing that with the... Uh... Let's get us back up. Right, I'm going to leave the bits on because I'm going to be colour We're going to get you back up here now. Um, yes, so I'll, pop, I'll put these on because these are too watery. Um, I want... Pop it. I'm nearly at the uh, good bit of mine now as well. I forgot about yours, I was so, so having such a lovely time. Me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> you get, get so absorbed though in what you're doing. It's, um... Painting is the best therapy. Oh. Whenever I feel down or sad, this is what I do. And then I lose myself for a good few hours. I'm 
Have a next time's dinner again. Yeah. As long as I remember to feed the children occasionally. <laughs> Cereal's for. I'm <laughs> 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 a cereal feeder. <laughs> Let's just clear up my mess first. <laughs> right. Look at that. So. Ooh. How are you doing for Two o'clock already. So we are kind of heading towards the end of our post hour, although we did start about 20 minutes late. Okay. Well, I think it was more like half an hour late, but we'll, we'll on, see how we go. I mean, yeah. obviously, we, we do have. Um, I don't know, do you have children? No, do you I don't. Them? You don't? No, no. It's just mine's in France. Yes. It's just me that's going. Oh, look at this list. So. Who's going to look after us then? <laughs> <laughs> this is like mum. I don't want to go. I'm going to be done. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> don't mention that word in my house. Right. Um, I'll probably just, because, you know, because of time, I'll probably just concentrate on the front, I think. Always. I quite like the drips as well. Gotcha. I know. I'm liking it. I, I, yes, I've gone from thinking it was going to be the most awful experiment and be terribly embarrassed to do it in front of the camera <laughs> to um, really, really liking it. Yeah, and I've gone from I'm glad you're experimenting to wish it was mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will do it again, and I'll keep I'll keep trying. Different yeah, sort try of more silicone spray next time. Silicone like spray, make sure it's very wet, silicone spray. Right. Make sure you've got enough to cover the area. Um, but I'm loving it. Right, I might be almost in got painting. Want to show you guys what happens with this this is quite hardcore sandpaper, it's 80 grit. But there are lots of lumps and bumps where I use the texture to actually make it look like a mess but because they stand out it's easy for the sandpaper to rub them away without rubbing the rest away and I get these lovely pattern of the blue and the red coming through I love that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I have to bring my camera over so you can see. Yeah, it. bring it in close because that is super. I love that. I'm just going to let me show you because that's the kind of effect I try and get when I'm doing my look. Sort of French look, and it's it's super. I love can you it. you see? It's, it's really simple. Quick look at the top. Look at that. Yeah. Yep, we're loving that. We are loving that. We're liking that. There we go. Right. See you later, Liz. Bye, Liz. Bye. Thank you. Clear up before I come in tomorrow. Do you not want the mess here in the morning? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> she, lives, she lives for it, really. <laughs> oh, we wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> you lovely empty lid. Oh, right, I need brushes. So I'm going to come in with my darkest of blues. And what we got? So this is a mixture of paint, so this is a, that's a French chic one that I'm using to start. I'm going to spray. This weather doesn't help. It depends the paint oh, up. Going. It really does. I mean, great for texture, not for paint. Just keep adding water if it does that. Any chalk paint, add water. Well, what do you think? I mean, the reason I do use different brands for different jobs um, and for different techniques is because some are thicker, some are a lot finer, some are great for um, a really fine, uh, really fine sort of piece. 
Um, I like doing textural pieces, so thicker paints work for me. I'm loving that. Look. That is gorgeous. I mean, look at the way it's sort of really emphasizing the yeah. shape of the, um, yeah. the piece. And the, the grain is picking it out. This is going to make a mess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is all about. We'll clear. We'll be super clear. I'm just going to blend, use that, that um, watered down white just to blend really. I'm going to put a little bit on my brush. Just try and blend. Now I said earlier on the camera that I was a terrible contaminator. Can you see what I've done? Yeah, there yes. Do you do the same? I do exactly Some the same. people look at you in horror when you do that. Which is why I do try. <laughs> I do try you as you can't. <laughs> no, I'm too lazy. Um, but yes, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm a contaminator. <laughs> this is like a virus. I can't <laughs> help it. Do, you know, you, you've learned to do it at school at some point, whether you practice those skills or not, but it's it's not rocket science. Um, it can take a while to get the hang of really getting them so that they're not true colours going up. They're all blended. You just keep adding water, mm. isn't it? Really, it and those is. brushes are really good for blending. I think but they the are round ones. Are better. Yeah, much better than the little sort of, um, ones. I use the square ones for everyday painting all the time. I really like them, but for blending, they, they're great. Yeah, but for I mean, you know, they are what they are. Blending definitely use a round brush. Yeah. Uh, what should I do with the next? I think I'll go I've got some spritz. Yes. So if you want. I have good my spritz. Oh, you got just have my spritz? It was Mandy that bought me one. <laughs> <laughs> and you can like squirt yourself at the same oh, time when it gets too hot. It's it flash. It's very cool. I hope that you can see in the camera just how much this is all coming to life. And it's gone from what was a really messy, scary piece into a really funky. Yeah, I did have my doubts when I saw it. I know, it kind of looked a bit like an army piece, I thought. It was. It was like funky camouflage. Yeah. <laughs> but not in a good way. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, they were quite rude. I, was I cried for half an hour last night. Oh, did you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is in. Keeping the paint as fluid as possible, really. And don't forget, this is just the first coat, you know. Um, I know I have got that blue underneath, so I could actually leave this as just the top coat. Um, obviously, if I was doing it from scratch, if it was a raw piece, um, two coats would be necessary. I'll see how I go on this because it is a case of applying and then blending. Why art teacher would we'll be very proud of me, I think. <laughs> I thought that the other day. Two of my teachers would actually say yes. 
an O curve of number. Huh? I don't know if my art teacher would remember me. Well, I'm sure mine wouldn't actually, <laughs> having said that. <laughs> um, however, I remember him. Now, my art teacher when I went to college was just the coolest art teacher. He said to us, um, Right, I don't mind if you don't come to college on a Friday, that's fine. If you come to me on a Monday and say it was because you spent all day in an art gallery. Ah. And if you haven't come in on Monday and you come in on Tuesday and you tell me you were off Friday because you went to an art gallery and you were off Monday because you liked it so much you had to go back Monday, <laughs> then that would be cool too. And he really, I really loved it. I, I know. Him. And then we went on a coach trip and... Um, we went to London to an art gallery, but all the way down, you'd, you'd never be allowed to do it now. Um, he was jumping around with the tannoy. He's a really enthusiastic guy, and he was shouting to everyone on the coach, Come on, everyone, get on your seats. Look at it, look at it from a different angle. Look at that, don't just look at it from your seats. I want you to see it from up there, now see it from down there. And everywhere you went, he just used to take everything out oh, of the box. Oh, I love him. He was so cool, so inspiring. I will always remember. Oh, I love him. I do. Yeah. Everyone needs a teacher like that. Yeah, you do. And you remember those kind of teachers, yeah. don't you? Oh. No, mine was very laid back, actually. But he did tell me a story about, you know how you, um, when you go to college, you, you, um, you have nude models come in for you, we do. Yes. And so you all have to sit down and, and do these pictures every week. And he used to regularly put adverts out in the newspapers for new models to come and um, so they'd come for an interview and more often than not he'd like people to be um, I guess not particularly beautiful sort of more organic old fat wrinkly whatever you know just Natural. because it became more, yeah, much more interesting to draw but he, he said that one time obviously people came for an interview and all they had to do was have a chat with him but this very very beautiful woman turned up and before there were two sentences in, she just stood up and took Ooh. her jacket off and had absolutely nothing on underneath. Well, how could you say no to that? <laughs> he was mortified. <laughs> didn't know what to do. Oh, <laughs> poor She didn't get the job. No. Did she not? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's <laughs> <great. interesting. laughs> Well, I am kind of near the end of what I've hoped to achieve today here. That is, I mean, it's looking fantastic. Yeah. I'm just going to need some and sand. Oh, it's gorgeous yeah, as it is. And I'm trying to just sort of, I'm trying to imagine it with more to it. Yeah. You know, with the stamps and what have you. It's going to be fantastic. I've got a, a week to, Love it. to keep looking at it and decide. Sometimes it's knowing when to stop as well, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Because sometimes <laughs> you can have this very elaborate plan in your head, but it didn't need it. It needs knowing when to stop. That's, I find that one of the hardest things. Yeah. Um, and that looks absolutely... I love the colours you've chosen. For me, it looks like... It's summer. It's sunny. Yeah. It's, it's almost a summer's evening. It's the sunset coming through. Yeah. You know, you've got the sky blue in there. You've got these oranges and yellows the sun just See, about i to was going to use these sunshine knobs but actually i think the knobs are quite good as they are leave the knobs leave the knobs yeah, they almost right. make it look too yeah, modern do. i think I agree. whereas that it's just you aged see? beautifully you start isn't it? with a plan you've got to adapt so right where are you at oh are you at the top you're going to go up to the top? I am going to go up to the top, but it's going to, um, I, I will stop when you stop because this obviously is going to need lots of blending. This is just the first colour going on. And then we'll sort of decide where we want less, where we want more, where we want to do It's effective. Are you going to do it one side this way? No, I will do, yeah. yeah. But I didn't want to bore you with that, with me going yeah. one side. You want to be able to see I it. I just have that bit on the top. I know, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> I really like it. Mm. Really, really like it. I mean, I will we'll keep this very top quality and white, but it, it needs touch-ups. Um, it's fresh I kind of wish I hadn't left the drips coming down on here. I might need to do a little bit of sanding off later. 
かけておきますね。